Frank Kratovel. Frank Michael Kratovel Jr. born May 29, 1968 is an American politician who was the U.S. representative for from 2009 to 2011. Elected in 2008, he was defeated in his bid for re-election on November 2, 2010. Kratovel is a member of the Democratic Party. He previously served as state's attorney of Queen Anne's County on Maryland's eastern shore, and he was appointed as a judge for the county's district court by Governor Martin O'Malley in December 2011. Early Life, Education and Career Frank Kratovel was born in Lanham, Maryland, and spent his childhood in Prince George's County, Maryland. He is the son of Frank M. Kratovel's sister and Linda Kratovel. Kratovel attended high school at Queen Anne's School in Upper Marlboro and graduated in 1986. Kratovel received his bachelor's degree in 1990 from Western Maryland College. He joined Phi Delta Theta Wilder and played soccer, basketball and baseball. In soccer, he served as captain for three years, was named to the Middle Atlantic Conference All-Conference team and received the Most Valuable Offensive Player Award and the Homer L. Outstanding Player Award. Upon graduation, he was awarded the Bates Prize for the Most Outstanding Graduating Male, the Charles W. Havens Award, awarded to an intercollegiate athlete who has shown by word and deeds the attributes of charity, altruism, benevolence, and a humane and compassionate concern for his fellow man and the Carroll County Scholar Athlete Award. Kratovel then graduated with honors from University of Baltimore School of Law in 1994. He served from 1994 to 1995 as law clerk for Judge Darlene G. Perry of Prince George's County Circuit Court. From 1995 to 1997 he served as Assistant State Attorney for Prince George's County, Maryland. In 1997, Kratovel moved to the Eastern Shore and was appointed Assistant State Attorney for Queen Anne's County, Maryland. During his tenure as Assistant State Attorney, he served as the county's only full-time prosecutor and community prosecutor. He continued to serve as Assistant State Attorney until 2001 when he was appointed as Deputy State Attorney in Kent County, Maryland. He also served as the President of the Young Democrats of Maryland from 1997 to 1998 and in 1998 was selected to represent the United States and the American Council of Young Political Leaders delegation to Taiwan. He was also a member and on the executive committee of the Queen Anne's County Local Management Board. Queen Anne's County State's Attorney In 2002, Kratovel ran for the office of State's Attorney in Queen Anne's County and was elected after defeating four-term incumbent David Gregory in a primary and Republican Paul W. Comfort in the general election. Kratovel assumed office at the age of 34, making him the youngest state's attorney in Maryland. He ran unopposed for re-election in 2006. He was elected by his fellow state attorneys to be president of the Maryland State's Attorneys Association MDSAW for 2005. During his time as president of the MDSAW, he pushed for stronger legislation to expand prosecution of gangs and increased awareness of growing problems with drugs and gangs in Maryland's rural areas. 2008 on June 4, 2007, Kratovel announced that he would run for Congress in Maryland's 1st Congressional District. During the February 12 primary, Kratovel defeated fellow Democrats Christopher Robinson, Steve Harper, and Joseph Werner. Kratovel expected to face nine-term Republican incumbent Wayne Gilgrest, a leading Republican moderate, in the general election. However, Kilchrist was ousted in the Republican primary by a considerably more conservative Republican, State Senator Andy Harris. This significantly changed the race as Kratovel was now running for an open seat rather than against a long-term incumbent. Kratovel was initially a heavy underdog due to the district's election history. Although Democrats and Republicans are nearly tied in registration, the district has a strong tinge of social conservatism that favors Republicans. It had been in Republican hands for all but 14 years since 1947, although Kratovel received a significant boost when Gilchrist endorsed him over Harris. In June, the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee DCCC decided to back Kratovel's campaign financially through their Red to Blue program. Kratovel, who was considered a moderate, picked up a number of endorsements from local Eastern Shore Republicans as well as Democrats. He also received an endorsement from the Blue Dog Coalition, a group of fiscally conservative Congressional Democrats. CQ Politics designated the race as no clear favorite. The November election was close as expected. 
On election night, Kratova led Harris by 915 votes. After two rounds of counting absentee ballots, Kratova's lead grew to 2,000 votes. Forecasting that it would be nearly impossible for Harris to close the gap, most media outlets declared Kratova the winner on the night of November 7. Harris finally conceded on November 11. Kratova's election dramatized the geographic split that characterizes the first district. An Eastern Shore resident, Kratova carried all nine counties on the shore. However, he lost badly in the district's portion of Baltimore County, including most of Harris Base and Baltimore's more conservative eastern suburbs. He also lost the district's portions of Hartford and Anne Arundel counties on the western shore. The district's voters are split almost evenly between the two regions. Kratova therefore became only the third Democrat to represent the first since 1947. Proving just how Republican this district still was, John McCain carried it with nearly 60% of the vote, which was his best showing in the state. 2010 Harris announced in May 2009 that he would seek a rematch against Kratoval, citing Kratoval's vote for the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 in its final form. Kratoval based his 2010 re-election bid on his independent streak in Washington. He was quoted as saying we can send someone to Washington who is going to continue to be independent and put the interests of the people of his district first, or we can send people that are going to put their own extreme ideological views ahead of the best interests of the people of this district. He also pointed to his overall record in Congress as proof. He was ranked as being in the top 10 of independent voting records in Congress by CQ Politics in 2009. A super PAC group called the Concerned Taxpayers of America paid $150,000 for ads attacking Kratoval and $300,000 for ads attacking Peter DeFazio of Oregon. Mid-October 2010 court or the FEC filing showed that the group was solely funded by $300,000 from Donald G. Shuster Inc., a concrete firm in Owings Mills, Maryland, and $200,000 from New York hedge fund executive Robert Mercer, the co-head of Renaissance Technologies of Sedgwick, New York. According to Dan Egan at the Washington Post, the group said it was formed in September to engage citizens from every walk of life and political affiliation in a fight against runaway spending. Its only expenditures were for these ads. Shuster was the top contributor to Harris. The district reverted to forum, and Kratova was defeated, taking 42% of the vote to Harris 54%. No Democrat has won more than 40% of the vote in the district since Kratova left office. Tanya. Despite the conservative nature of the district, analysis conducted by the Washington Post and others found Kratoval voted with the House Democratic leadership 85% of the time. Major Democratic priorities Kratoval voted for included. An analysis of major legislation only by Congressional Quarterly and Centerline Org concluded Kratoval was one of the most centrist congressmen in the country. Kratoval voted against the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act in March 2010, citing his district's overwhelming opposition to it and the overall cost, a deficit impact, and the negative impact that the bill's employer mandates could have on job creation. Committee Assignments Committee on Agriculture Subcommittee on Conservation, Credit, Energy, and Research Subcommittee on Horticulture and Organic Agriculture Subcommittee on Livestock Dairy and Poultry Committee on Armed Services. Subcommittee on Readiness. Subcommittee on Air and Land Forces Committee on Natural Resources. Subcommittee on Insular Affairs, Oceans and Wildlife. Judicial Career. In late December 2011, Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley appointed Kratoval as a judge for the Queen Anne's County District Court. Kratoval had been nominated by the trial court's Judicial Nominating Commission to fill a vacancy due to the retirement of Judge John T. Clark Roman III.